Yeah. So, Adi, Kab. Welcome, guys, to a new day. Um, today is the first day. It's about 8 a.m. I'm here in sunny Bangkok. It's crazy weather right now, as you guys already know. And now I've decided today that, as you can tell by the film my channel, I want to be meeting as many people as possible. And I'm so grateful that I've been able to link up with one of the YouTubers who I was watching again before I came out here. So again, it's another full circle moment. Um, and it just goes to show that your network is your net worth at the end of the day. So who have I got here with me, man? You're know, you talking about this big YouTuber. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> where you, he is. You, bro, just, just another guy out here just trying to make it. Yeah. Um, like you said, you've been watching me for two and a half years now. Yeah. Um, and well, you, you're making your own strides. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Well, guys, like, as you can tell, I like to keep it real. And Rob was one of the main people I was watching before I decided to come out here. Um, a lot of his content is very valuable, very no bullshit, straight down to the earth advice when it comes to moving abroad, getting a condo, so many type of insightful things. So I'm gonna tag his channel obviously, but please make sure you go subscribe, check out his content because he's part of the reason why I'm here and I like to just give gratitude, man, yeah. where it's needed, man. So it's the genuine you, attitude I wanted to meet. That's Appreciate why I reached it, out to him. I was like, bro, your content's quality. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Honestly, man, we just gotta keep it real. But Rob said that he's gonna show me a couple spots. So we're just gonna have a little walk and talk. Um, and see where we end up, man. So yeah. should be good. Let's yeah, go. man. So how long you been here again, bro? Two and a half years, you said. Two and a half years now. Uh, been travelling here for about six years. Wow. Like holiday, like most people, fell in love with the place. Yeah. Done anything I could in the UK to leave the place. Yeah. Because it's so much debt working in construction. Yeah. And um, yeah, just made it happen. You know, I was going to be a teacher. I was going to be a, a programmer. And I'd done YouTube in the past, doing um, like tech reviews such bad videos yeah. such <laughs> bad videos like they're horrendous um i used to be like camera shy i didn't originally Same, want to bro. talk to the camera do you ever get comments on your youtube and they're like oh how are you so confident i'm like mate two years ago i was shitting myself i would never do this uh, <laughs> yeah like if you watch my first video which is still online uh, and then watch it now you'll just see i'm just talking normally now yeah. like i'm having a conversation i literally i done an interview uh, not yesterday but the day before yeah i was talking about how you can talk to the camera talk to the lens not have a picture of yourself yeah and just pretend that you're having a conversation with somebody with someone yeah yeah it just comes across so much more naturally and more of a conversational flow yeah. yeah and this man seems to have it down pat like, <laughs> before he's even started which appreciate is really it, really good so appreciate it, um it's yeah it's, it's a good trait to have and it comes across well on on all videos and everything else and, appreciate you man yeah, honestly people man people tend to sort of start about building trust but you know, they want to trust the things that you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got to keep it real, guys, uh, man. Just go down there. Yeah. So where are we going now, man? Chat to me. So I'm going to show you the kind of like the back area. You were saying about, you know, all the food here, job fairs, all the kind of yeah. the touristy zones. Um, but all the best stuff is all hidden behind it. So Ron yeah. showed me a hidden gem, guys, all that. Man. So this is why you got to... Oh, shit. This is why Sorry, it's guys. always about meeting new people because who knows? Ron could put me onto a food spot and I could be here every day after He'll this. You'll love it. You'll love so. it. Yeah, guys, man. And I'm also happy, as I mentioned before, to actually be linking up with other creators who are actually from the UK. Because I don't know what your opinion is, because you've been here a lot longer than me. Yeah. But a lot of the kind of groups and networks that I've made and people I've met out here, uh -huh. majority of them are from the States. I haven't found, I've literally only found yep. one guy. It's my friend Kieran. Big up yourself, Kieran, if you watch yeah. this. He's also from the UK. So what's your experience been like? Uh, actually, I'm wondering if you're the, the only other... No, Walker, Chris Walker. Um, yeah, I only know a couple of other British creators, but yeah, most yeah. of them are from the US. Um, and you can take inspiration from like, other people, yeah, right? Anyone, but, and then just make it your own. Yeah. Um, I think you've already got your own style to start with, which is, which is great. But yeah, if you can be inspired by the other creators, then, yeah. yeah, why no, not? 100%. Why um, do you think it is that there's not many like Brits here? Or Brit I, think, I think they're scared. I think, um, I think we're all, all living in a bubble, to yeah. be honest with you. Like even myself, I didn't realize what life can be like, yeah. you know? Um, yeah, I was in a bubble, just working, thinking this is normal, you know, getting two weeks off per year, going yeah. on holiday to like Egypt or, you know, wherever was like, yeah. great life. Yeah. And it's not, it really isn't. There's so much more and you can explain it as much as you want to people over video, but until you've actually been here, yeah, you just don't here. know, man. It's, yeah. it's just a different, completely different world. It changed my life. Moving to Thailand completely changed my life yeah. from start to finish. I used to be materialistic and now I'm like a minimalist. I just don't care about yeah, stuff. Yeah, I care yeah, about yeah. meeting people. Black t-shirts every day, like just, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> see my, I'll show you a picture of my uh, my wardrobe in a bit. It's just black shirts, <laughs> just, that's it. I don't know any other black shirts. Yeah. I just don't care and no one else here does either. Yeah. You could be wearing like Louis Vuitton and no one gets crap. Right? Yeah. It's fake. Well, yeah. here it would be fake anyway. Yeah. You know, the, the lady cleaning the toilet, she'll be wearing like Versace and Gucci and all yeah. sorts. 
Like they don't care about brands here, they don't care about, they do care about status, but you know, um, yeah, you can just go out, do your thing. And be you, not we're being judged, man. We're both like fully black ninjas, Literally, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're in the same outfit, yeah. like, by accident. Yeah, well. it's just, it's one less thing to think about. I get up, I get my coffee, yeah. enjoy my day and just do my thing. I don't have to worry about this kind of shit. As long yeah. as it's clean, I don't smell too. Yeah, yeah, we're smelling, smelling good, right. I'm doing all right. Smelling good, so it's, it's, it's early good. though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me show you all this market. Yeah. You just do one take, eh? Yeah, just straight in, man. So where are we at? So have you been here before? Yeah, fuck me, yeah. Uh, I've sorry. never been here. Can I swear anything? Of course so you can. There's good few restaurants down here in the evening, so I don't also open during the day. Yeah. We'll go for a walk. There's another cafe Amazon around here, so we'll go all the way around. Yeah. Guys, look how busy it is, man. And this is the morning. It's not even 9am yet. Oh, this like. is dead. This is yeah, dead. Yeah, this is quiet. Yeah, if you come here sort of 4 or 5pm in the evening when everyone's finished work, yeah. you get like more fresh food. Like All of these are great. Um, Authentic food, man. Yeah. Swahili so crab. crab. Yeah, in the evening, like, it's just packed full of locals. So, yeah. You get yourself some really, this is really the nice food. This is Thailand that I really love, man. Culture. Do you eat like. street food much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. do? Okay, sweet, yeah, sweet. Yeah, man. That's all right. You can get like, yourself some really good meals down here, and it's so affordable. It's yeah. ridiculously cheap. So what? You, but you don't live in this specific area, do you, you were saying? No, I'm down near Punawiti now, but oh, I was okay. I was going to move here. They've got some, um, uh, just down the end of the road here, they've got some townhouses. Yeah. You could pick up, like, 10,000 baht oh. a month. Like Rob showed me the best spots, guys, three, man. Three bed townhouses for ten thousand baht a month. For real? Yeah. So like, if you if you're with a couple of mates or something, yeah, you can kit out each room. Maybe even turn one into like a podcast room like a or content something. Room. Just stick a bunch of furniture in. You can pick up furniture here quite cheap. Yeah. And, and kit it all out. But if you come like a solo person, it's a bit difficult to kit out a whole house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's what a lot of people do to rent the townhouses. Yeah. So well, let me ask you a couple of questions. Yeah. So, yeah. Because I've got. I feel like I've got a bit more context than maybe some of my audience in terms of who you are, what you're about sure, and stuff. So of course. the Rob that I know from watching you on YouTube is that, again, like myself, you're a risk taker. Obviously, you've got more life experience than I me. You're older than me. You didn't like, used to be. So I mean, again, Thailand changed me. Like, yeah. I was always like, just do things the way you're supposed to. I never took any risks in my life. Yeah. yeah. And um, coming here was just a huge risk. Yeah. Um, I actually found out I have ADHD about four or five months ago. Real, bro, I and I realized well, why man. I do the things the way I do and why uh, Thailand brought me so much joy. Yeah. Because it's just constant dopamine looking around has constantly changed so something new. Everything and, stimulating. Yeah, absolutely. And I yeah. think that's why I was so drawn to, to do it. And I ended up hyper focusing on becoming what I am today. Rob's a G, he's actually said to me yesterday, he's like, listen, I've been out all day I filming nearly bailed, content. No, I nearly he nearly bailed. bailed on me, he's like, listen, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull up tomorrow, but he's still here, so I, actually, I appreciate that, man. I actually bailed on you this morning. I, I unsent the message, I was like, man up, it's only a few oh, hours, shit. get hold of it. <laughs> I was like, hate letting people down. Um, yeah, here, so I, pre I appreciate that. Man. Yeah, there was this quote, and it was like, five years ago, yeah. um, you dreamed of where you are today. Yeah. And I was so like, true, do you know what? And I pictured myself five years ago, yeah. like planning everything, selling everything, going, oh man, yeah. I'll do anything to so live in Thailand. The yeah. and, and here I am. You've done it. Um, and it's like, a lot of people take it for granted. Yeah. So I try and like step back and appreciate the things that I have here. Yeah. Um, and I do, I love it here. I yeah. think this is the, the best city in the world. Yeah. It's not perfect. No, no city Nothing's in the world is perfect. perfect. Man. Absolutely not. But, but yeah. You know, how have you found it? How long have you been living here? So I've now? been here for about eight and a half weeks now. Okay. Um, and as you can see, I've been like fresh. religiously making content. I'm a fresh <laughs> Palang, like the fresh. most fresh. Literally. That's why you're still going to John Fair's night. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you were like, oh, John Fair's is there. I was like, how long have you just got off the plane? <laughs> Rob's like, on holiday. Rob's like, yeah, eight you're a freshie, bro. You gotta be shut up. <laughs> But I mean, I've been here about eight and a half weeks now. Um, honestly, I'm loving it, man. Like, as you can see, mm. that's how we kind of linked up anyways. I've been creating content from yeah. on. I was just going to say, in the evenings, like, all of these uh, selling food here. Uh, there's a coffee guy here. What's yeah. the week is it? I'm not too sure. Coffee guy here, like 30 baht coffees in the morning. Really good, real. proper, proper machines. Now you're putting me on The today, cost man. of living uh, behind Fortune Town is ridiculously cheap. Except yeah. for this con, actually. This, one, this one's a bit more expensive, probably like 20,000 baht a month, yeah. which is expensive for the area. Um, but you've got a uh, groove a bit further down yeah. and a bunch of other uh, apartments which are mostly uh, have tyres in so it'd be a bit more difficult to get the apartments. Yeah. Some of the apartments are going for like 3,000 baht a month. 3,000 3, baht? baht a month, so. That's crazy, man. And, right, so as far as you can see, there's food on either side of the road. Yeah. We won't walk down there. We'll just go down here, which is probably one of the most chaotic intersections in Bangkok. Uh, but yeah, there's just literally a mile of food that way. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, there's the groove. You can see like the top 
top bit there yeah. on the condo. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's got a swimming pool on the roof, really nice condo block. That's sick, man. So, and they do a uh, shuttle bus service to go to the MRT. Yeah. So you're not worried about having to walk all the time. It's all right, it's a nice place to live. Nah, I love that's it. I sick, man. I love it here. That's sick, man. If it wasn't for me finding the place where I am now, I would have moved to Ramanai. For real? Yeah, yeah 100%. 100%. So Rob, um, but yeah, just, I, I, I've been here about eight and a half weeks now. Um, I've been making content religiously, as you can see. Yep. Just kind of documenting my journey, do you know sure, what I mean? Sure. But I, another reason why I'm so super happy that I've got, I'm here with you today is because like, we're similar, but so different. We're both from the UK, yes. both taking a risk and changed our life. Of course. But you're obviously a lot older than me. You've got more life experience yeah. than me. Our backgrounds are probably completely different, right? Yeah, yeah. Like chalk and cheese. And sometimes yeah. that's how people get on as yeah, well. And, um, and then now we found relatability, Yeah, yeah. which is great. That, um, which is sick. So tell me a bit more about that. Like, what was your kind of like... twice your age. You're what, 21? I'm 22, yeah. 22. Yeah. I'm 38. <laughs> getting old. I'm, I bet I'm still younger at heart. I'll yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. come on, man. So we'll have to go for a night out. Um, <laughs> Right, where am I going? Alright, there's a cafe in there. Yeah. We can even, we can sit inside. Yeah, I'm down man. Right, I'm going on tangents. In, in the evening here you've got like five or six different uh, food stalls. You've got like uh, noodles, crisp pork, yeah. uh, omnits. You can sit on the inside here. They're yeah. like 40, 50 baht a meal. That's it. Well, I'm gonna same, come back here. Same man. here, chicken and rice from the corner here is really really good, it's 50 baht. Um they got, Are you hungry, uh, Ian? Uh, pork, I'm gonna fucking hit a bike. Um, yeah, they got like a pork neck place here. It's really, really good. Yeah. Uh, the one with the, the little noodle bowl sign. Ah, oh, yeah. so, so many places. What do you want to do? Do you want to get coffee? Do you want to eat? Are you hungry? Yeah, you want food, don't you? Yeah, we can uh, get food. Maybe I don't know where. Like chicken and rice. Yeah, what sure. What are you thinking? Yeah, we can get chicken and rice. Yeah. Guys, look how busy it is, man. Cowman guy, guy Todd. Cowman guy. Yeah. I sound terrible with my voice. Nah, you're good, bro. This is how it is. We keep it real. <coughs> we don't sugarcoat shit. Bangkok's killed me. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's cross, man. Yeah, just go. Look at that. Oh. But yeah, guys, man. This what, what we you want to do? You want to sit here or sit there or? Anywhere, man. I'll just put the camera up. Nah, I'm definitely going to come back here again for sure. You're showing me all the, the sweet spots. Yeah. I've been in the, the touristy spots too too long, man. It's just, uh, it's not only the cost of living, it's just the convenience. Yeah. Um, of the area, it is busy. Yeah. Like there's trade-offs. Yeah. Um, like everything here, there, there's always a trade-off for like one thing or another. Yeah. And uh, you'll find, um, like obviously, we've probably got different personalities. So you'll yeah. probably find an area that suits your personality. Yeah. I yeah, found yeah. my area. That suits and, you. Yeah. It, it took me years to find it. Yeah. Um, we'll sit inside. No, that's sick. But guys, we're gonna get some food. Catch you in a sec, man. I will catch you in a sec. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we just finished eating at this spot. Don't ask me what it's called because I don't know. Ooh, slowly. Yeah, guys. So we just ate um, at one food spot, literally right behind me. Food was a 10 out of 10. Don't ask me what it's called because I don't know. But Rob, where are you taking me now, man? Uh, we're just going to go and check out some of the townhouses. It's a bit more of a quiet spot between here and all the madness. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can pick up some good deals. So what soy is this? Where, where even are we right now? Pass. Good question. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like the local vibe behind Fortune Town, yeah. IT Mall. Rob's taking me, don't know where he's taking me, but I'm about to find out, guys, man. Being open-minded is so important, man. So, like, I've just met Rob, first time I've ever met him after watching his channel somewhat religiously for the past four or five months. Um, we just Fan sat boy. down. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, you're a fucking fan. <laughs> um, we literally just sat down and had some cow man guy, cow guy Todd. Cow man guy, guy Todd. Yeah, what I'm he said. I'm probably pronouncing guy Todd wrong as well. So but still, what he said. Don't just destroy me in the comments. <laughs> we just had some of that, and... Um, yeah, man, Rob was just kind of putting me onto a lot of game, guys. So, like, if anything I can kind of tell you guys about which has been impactful for me is always be open-minded. Like, I could have come out here to Bangkok, Thailand with the mindset of, oh, I can't learn from anyone and I know it all. But you're not going to get very far like that, man. You've got to be open-minded and allow yourself to be taught. I'm so teachable that I can learn from anyone. I've already learned from you just over that conversation yeah. we had now, man. I'm just going to say, like, I can tell that you're good at listening and... Like you want to learn. Yeah, I, that's I it, can man. see that straight away. But you're right, people do come here with uh, a bit of a poor attitude sometimes, a little bit over over con confident and cocky and yeah. think they know it all, like, oh, I'm going to do this, oh, I know this and that. Yeah, Billy Big Bullock's kind yeah. of like, I've been doing this a couple of years now. I don't know everything. Yeah. I still learn every single day. Yeah. I, I even take inspiration from content creators like Ty. Every day is a school day, man. Yeah, exactly, right? So, you know, it's about coming here, staying honest, staying humble. 
Just uh, doing your own thing. Don't get distracted by what everyone else is doing. Yeah. We're going uh, straight. Yeah, we'll keep going down here. Guys, look at this view, man. Now, this is what you call the real authentic Thailand, man. I love to see this shit. Look at that, guys, man. It's nice, man. You've got all the old area, like the new Ashton buildings, the life so. Yeah, now, this is sick. Tower cranes putting up the rest of modern Bangkok. You know what? It's almost like a bit of a juxtaposition because like even how you said in the area that you live where it's like you've got a really new modern mm. condominium building and block yep. but then like one road down you've got really authentic traditional kind of streets like this do you know what i mean so how do you feel living in like or being in a place where there's such kind of like luxury yeah so close to i'm not gonna say non-luxury but so close to traditional vibes of thailand yep. how does that so what was that like for you mixed feelings uh for me Personally, I'm I'm the lucky one out of this situation because I get some contrast. Yeah, you know, I like being in amongst the local people because they're really friendly. Yeah, you can just go for a, a quick ten minute walk, end up saying hello to people. People smile, say hello. You know, you get some incredible food. It's where the best food will be with the locals. Definitely, and then go back to your nice, comfortable sky tower overlooking Rooftop the world pool. and be a king. <laughs> you know, that being said, I've had conversations with the locals before where I said, oh. You know, how are you? They're like, good. I said, oh, I'm, I'm in the area. I'm your neighbor. And they were like, what side of the road are you on? Ooh. I was like, well, I'm on the other side. They're like, oh, yeah, we call that Hollywood. Really? I was like, it made me think for a second. So I was just like, oh, damn, because they're all down here. And they just look at us on the other side of the road. Like, they're the posh guys from Hollywood. And I, yeah. it, it gave me a bit of perspective. Yeah. I think it's probably really good and probably a bit of advice to anyone else to come That's here to have a bit more perspective about how other people are living. Yeah. They might be really friendly, but, you know, they're looking at us up in the sky towers going, oh, look how nice life is. Look how easy it is. Yeah. I can fully see their point. Yeah, and I can as well, man. That's actually really interesting. And I feel like when you go to a different country or continent at that, it's so important for you to kind of put yourself in other people's shoes. Yeah. So like how me and Rob were just saying back then when we were sitting down, which I wasn't filming because we was eating, but he was, Rob was just literally saying to me that, one, you need to put yourself in other people's shoes. And at the end of the day, you don't know how other people kind of feel about certain things. Mm. So like, say, for example, you get certain Phalang who come here and they might be the kind of arrogant type and, you know, not really respect the local Thai people. Yeah. How would that local Thai person feel for a foreigner to come to their land? And then on top of that, try and be disrespectful towards yeah. them at that. So it's like a double whammy. So I think Thais are very... Uh, receptive of foreigners coming here, living here, that they yeah. actually encourage it. They're quite happy for it. Yeah. Uh, and like don't was, take the piss. No, like I was saying to you earlier, respect goes a long way here. Yeah. Here's actually probably a prime example of how you would, you know, if you were living down here, you would be looking up at all these towers that cost four, five, six times as much per month. Yeah. Um, and you'd be going, oh, look at them guys over in Hollywood. Like they're on a different level, right? Yeah. You know, it's all about perspective. Uh, it's all well so and good. Going, oh, this is so cheap. That's so cheap. Up, well, you know, you, you need to work out the cost of living here in Thailand and how much the locals are actually paying. So, yeah. just try and be a bit more respectful, uh, in, in you know, in them, in them sense, really. Well, let me ask you a question, yeah? Yeah, go on. So, you've been here two and a half years. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you first arrived in Thailand? Like, what was that like? Uh, I think I'd been planning it in my head for like so long. Yeah. Um, I, I, I kind of knew what it was going to feel like when I arrived. Uh, and I, I thought there would be this kind of honeymoon period, right? I thought I'd arrive, I'd just be like, wow, this is great. And it would die off a little bit. You yeah. know, like when you get like a new car or something, yeah. you know, as soon as you've got it, you're just like, yes, got a new car. And every then, day. You know, like... that novelty kind of wears off. Uh, but it was really weird. For me, the more I was exploring Bangkok, the more I realized, you know, the, the conveniences here and what you can do when you live here. Yeah. Things just got better and better. And I never expected that. I never yeah. expected the honeymoon period to get better and better instead of just petering off. Yeah. Um, oh, that's interesting man yeah now i'm kind of getting used to it uh some days i take it for granted and some days i forget i used to live in the uk yeah but i'm so used to being here it's so ingrained into me yeah uh, life here and communicating with people and everything else i literally forget that i used to live in the uk yeah yeah uh, which crazy. is really strange that so, is strange yeah i try and humble myself bring myself back and be grateful for all of this stuff but yeah, um, yeah. you can get an apartment here for like six thousand a month six thousand baht a month yeah. guys so i'm gonna put on the screen yeah. how much six thousand baht <coughs> is but you can probably get maybe like a one bed 100, flat 150 quid 150 pound a month guys man if that that's probably with bills that's crazy and then these that's ones will be like twenty five thousand on the other side right yeah so, so something like that in a high rise you're probably paying about 
20 to 30k bar a month i'd like to say which is about you can see it on the screen anyways and but something over here a bit more humble something you would get like a one bed flat in like leeds or something you could probably get for about so, oh, i was saying to you earlier like you can get uh so like these townhouses they go they're quite deep they go quite back yeah and, uh, you could rent out one of these put your car on the drive it's just really good value yeah you pick you can pick up some of these like empty ones for you know, five to ten thousand baht. You just need to do a bit of a bit of searching for it. How do you find them? Like when I was looking for my place, I think if you search online for uh, townhouses Rama Nine, some of these will come up. Yeah, just uh, click through all the links. Uh, but a lot of the time, it's been on the ground, walking around and seeing a sign that says for rent. Yeah, like and then just going in there. Yeah, like uh, what, you, what you got up here? It's like condo rental advert here on the side of the green building. Oh, yeah, that won't be online. Yeah, and the same with the building I just showed you. Yeah, that's not online. Yeah, none of it is. It's about being on the ground because you get a lot of uh, keyboard warriors. Oh, you can't get it at this price. <laughs> yeah. All right, bro. Yeah, all right. You're not here. Yeah. Not here. Back, back home in the UK or the US or wherever he's <laughs> from. So, all right, mate. No problem. All right. So, Rob, let me ask you this, yeah? Go. On. So, a lot of my audience, I'd say, is between a mixed age of, let's say, 18 to about 35. Okay. So, so you've got the younger audience. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like more in the middle. Exactly. So, I'm like kind of at the bottom of that scale. Uh -huh. um, for someone, you said you're 38. Yes. 38 years young, yeah. What advice would you give to another 38 year old or someone <coughs> mid 30s watching my content right now in terms of taking a risk moving abroad? Let go. Just let go of everything. It's just not important. Like, mm. the, the, the stuff that you've got, if you die tomorrow, you're just a number on someone's screen for whatever company you're working for. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Let go of everything. If you really want to, if you want, it depends how happy you are in your, in your home country. But if you're unhappy, just sell everything, it doesn't matter. Whether it's your car, your bike, stuff you worked for for 10 years, you know, you'll, you'll find more happiness in a place where you feel welcomed mm -hmm. and you have more of a passion. So yeah, you, you need to kind of follow your dream and not get scared. It's about taking the risk and it's difficult to let go. Yeah. You know, I found it incredibly difficult to let go of a lot of stuff, you know, whether it's friendships, relationships. Yeah. I stayed single for years to save up and move out here. You know, girls are dating me, they're like, I want to, get together i'm like yeah but i'm moving to thailand in, in one yeah. year they're like yeah but you might change your mind i was like, like no i'm not no i'm not and they, they got really angry about it yeah you know um so you do you have to make sacrifices to move here but i can tell you now i've been here two and a half years and it's the best decision of my entire life yeah um would i have moved out here earlier i'm not i'm not too sure i quite like the life experience i've had and maybe i appreciate things a little bit more at 38 yeah um Sound like an old man now. Nah, not even, um, man. But it's, it's but, good because we're coming from two different perspectives. Yeah, you know I mean? absolutely. Yeah, like we're completely different generations, right? Yeah. Uh, YouTube wasn't a thing when, when I was born. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when did the internet come out? I don't know, it was like 13, 14 or something. Yeah, that's crazy. So, uh, I was in my dad's balls then. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to think about, but I am now, right? Um, yeah, just uh, right, you have to make sacrifices, easy. but it's worth it. Yeah. Absolutely worth it. Now, I think that's good advice, man. I feel like at the end of the day, if you want something bad enough and you work and believe, you can achieve anything, man. Absolutely. You've seen it here. Like I'm obviously on the younger side. I'm like early 20s. I'm just going to get a drink in here. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Let me finish your sentence. Yeah, yeah. Rob's got a lot more experience than me, but no matter your situation, you can make it happen, man. Go ask a little stray doggy. Here you go, boy. Yeah, guys, man. This is just... Raw Bangkok, man. The real side of Bangkok. I'm happy that I met Rob. Sick guy, man, honestly, man. He's actually put me onto a lot of game and kind of helping me to... Just checking my mic's working. Helping me to kind of change and develop on my mindset as well, guys, man. But just put yourself out there. Get yourself on social media. Go and take a risk. I literally wouldn't be making content with Rob right now if I didn't start making videos and just pick up my phone. I'm not even on a camera. I'm on my phone. These microphones that I use cost me like 600 baht, that's like £8. And I'm here documenting my journey and people are finding out, you know. So guys, like, you know me, you know my channel. I like to entertain but also educate, man. Guys, it's just sick, man. It still feels a bit surreal for me. Been here two and a half months. I was literally in the UK watching Rob's channel. No bullshit. I was literally watching his channel, guys, um, with a lot of other Thailand content creators. And now I'm here and I'm one of them, man. So it's sick. Big up to this guy every time, man. Serious. Right now... Shit. We're just taking a walk through the street. It's probably about 9.30, maybe 10 a.m. now. And this is just what a normal morning looks like in Bangkok, Thailand, man. But yeah, guys, man. Rob the G got me a bottle of water because it's hot. Are you adjusting to the heat? Well, you probably have bad. adjusted to the heat. Yeah, bad. I thought I'd acclimatise after one year, but 
What's not happened? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. It is proper hot, guys, man. Like, we're just taking a walk around. As you can see, I'm sweating as always. I think it was 38 yesterday, wasn't it? 38, 38 degrees. 39. Crazy. Ridiculous. Bro. Ridiculous. But at the same time, I'm grateful. It's a good problem to have because in the UK, we ain't got no heat. So, yeah, man. They got no nothing in the UK, no? Yeah. <laughs> They got nothing right there. So what area were you from back in the UK? Uh, so I grew up in Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire. Uh, and then I'm filming the pan panorama apparently. Um, yeah, grew up in Hertfordshire and then uh, the last seven years I was in construction. So mostly like London. Um, yeah. I was like renting uh, rooms in like Watford and that, trying to save money and yeah. commuting in. Yeah. But I was spending like 25 quid a day just on a train fare. Wow. Where if you told that to a Thai person here, they'd just die, like, they'd fall over. They'd be like, what? Yeah, 25 like, pounds. Unheard of. Yeah. Um, you know, the train here is nine baht, whereas 25 pounds is a thousand baht. Yeah. So it's a price difference. That's crazy. You know, like nine and a thousand is yeah. crazy. Like the yeah, cost, cost of living here and you're silly for like, motorbikes going the wrong way down the road here. Oh, yeah. sorry. It's just uh, a different world. Entirely. Very different, man. So, yeah, man, it's crazy out here, man. But I think at the end of the day, He's Rob would have never have experienced this if he didn't come out here and decide to change his life and make a change to his life. It doesn't matter what age you are, where you come from, what you're doing. You've got two experiences of people who are here. Yeah, we've done a bit of a circle now. Um, we're back at uh, Fortune Town Rama 9. You've got Central Rama 9 right over here. Um, but yeah guys man, I think I might end the video here to be honest with you. I just wanted you guys to come with me whilst I linked up with my bro for the first time. Had a sick conversation, yeah. had some good food. Um, and yeah man, so guys, I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my day. What are you doing? What's your plan for the rest of the day? Uh, editing, got a video going live tomorrow about Make the sure F1 out. coming to Bangkok, potentially. Yeah. Um, so I was all down the Old Town area, a bit of entertainment, Yeah. should be good. Guys, make sure you check that out. Um, Rob's channel will be probably in the description, if not in the title of the video, man. But go show love, seriously, man. Go, thank you very much. Project Bangkok. Come on, man. But yeah, uh, guys, that's all 1% better every day. You can do anything you want, man. We out. So what do you have?